Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Tetris 99. So, this is day 5 of recording, but I am post-commentating this. Yes, I decided, eh, maybe I should try doing a little just regular playing without talking to see if it'll affect my concentration or whatnot, and... Well, here's the results of that. <laughs> I played for about an hour and 15 minutes straight or so in just one single video. That would have been way, way too much, so I decided to summarize it with the best games that I had, and I was playing pretty dang consistent overall, so here is the results of that. I, I, so maybe I was right about my talking impacting my concentration a bit on that regard. I, I had no idea what to do with that. <laughs> Everywhere I would put that, it would be an awkward situation. And uh, and this is actually uh, something else that I'd like to talk about too, as long as I'm post-commentating on, you know, on like stuff, how to improve and whatnot. Record your own gameplay. It's a lot more useful than you might think it is. Like when, you, when you're playing and you're in the heat of the moment and stuff like that, it can be can be a little bit difficult to make the best decision and so w when you're in a more relaxed setting of just you know looking at your gameplay like I am right now you can be like oh hmm or well maybe I shouldn't have dropped that piece there I should have looked more at the next piece set up and then I would have been able to plan for that a little bit better like I just keep ending I just keep ending up building on that right side and I'm not really getting any sort of Tetris going on there, but yet somehow, some way, I got a KO in there. <laughs> yeah, um, for this whole part, I'm basically setting it to KOs. I noticed uh, that I was getting the best results when I was going for KOs. I think it was because I was getting more badges that way, because it would end up hitting the weakest player. Well, I shouldn't say the weakest player. I should say the most vulnerable player at the time. And, you know, when you get... KOs, you get more badges, and then increases your attack power, yada yada yada, we went through that before. So, uh, yeah, I, I basically just stuck with KOs throughout and seen where the results got me, and I think that is where the sweet spot is. Oh, dang it, Pika Gam, don't you dare misdrop at this point. <laughs> but yeah, misdrops will always happen, it's Tetris after all, you are your own worst enemy. So, yeah, I just kind of... And I just checked over stuff, and I, I noticed, yeah, KOs seems pretty good, and I went with it. Here we are, and as I said, this is going to be like a highlight reel of what I got out of this. It's a lot of high, high uh, placements, let's just put it that way. <laughs> so yeah, that definitely helped for one thing, is sticking to KOs, but in order to do KOs, you definitely have to play aggressively more aggressive than I'm playing right now actually but this is early in the session so I guess you can see I haven't like super super warmed up or anything like that but still I get a pretty decent result at it uh, but yeah it's another thing that I like to mention is that I found your best bet is to play as aggressively as possible because the more KOs you can get the more badges yada 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 <laughs> I feel like I'm really repeating myself here. That was definitely a misdrop. Dang it, PK Gam. Dang it, PK Gam. Okay, you fixed it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, now, when, as I was saying about looking through footage, uh, you can notice that there's, there's some things that I definitely could have done better just by slowing it down a tad, but then there's other stuff that I definitely could have been faster on by just jamming it over to the side of the screen and whatnot too so it's kind of like trying to make everything as efficient as possible to do as much damage as you possibly can do and I'm trying to set up a t-spin here uh, because I had an awkward situation going on here so I was like yup. <laughs> and those are uh, pretty dang powerful that was it worth as much as a Tetris if I recall correctly, and if you do a triple T-spin, it's worth as much as six, I do believe. Yeah, it's worth more than a Tetris, which is kind of kind of weird, considering the game is called Tetris. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like the, the name of the game has been outdated in <laughs> favor of going for T-spins. And yeah, you probably actually should go for more T-spins uh, as a result of that because of the fact that they do so much more damage than your uh, typical Tetris, but I'm I'm way too old school. 
I haven't I haven't fully adjusted to that, but you'll notice that I, I was able to set up a T-spin just fine when I seen the opportunity for it, but it's not like it's not like something that's super reflexing. I'd have to play a lot more to get get that new thing into my Tetris vocabulary. <laughs> but hey, you know, it's it's the learning curve of a new game, basically, so there's a new mechanic, you don't automatically get into it just um, just like if you want to, you gotta actually work for it to get get the hang of it. And that's that's kind of like what I like about games, you know, it's, it's always a learning curve no matter what. There's always something new to get the hang of as you go. Even if the gameplay, like you, you, like say the genres are similar, maybe like Mario 64 to Mario Galaxy or something like that. There, there's still different platforming elements and stuff like that for you to get the hang of uh, along the way. So it's yeah, it's that's the love of gaming to me. <laughs> well, besides just. You know, just having fun with them and whatnot. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. I like everything about gaming. <laughs> so as you can see, as I was saying, I'm doing, doing pretty well here. I'm not playing super aggressively, but yet because of the KOs, I got a whole bunch of badges in my repertoire, and that's allowed me to stay a whole lot more consistent. Like I'm able to fend stuff more. A whole lot better. Like you haven't really noticed me getting into something spectacularly bad, have you? No, you haven't. That's because it really has not been a factor. Why did I put that there? That see, that's that's the thing of looking back through your gameplay. That was a mistake, and it's gonna cost me. Because <laughs> that that should have been in that middle column. Because I wanted, I should have left it open. But I got all panicky, nervous, or something, I don't know what I was thinking or whatever. And I, I blocked it up. It's kinda hard to fend off attacks now that I am um, that I clogged up the works and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm just kinda like, ah, screw it at this point. <laughs> it's kind of a lost cause. <laughs> but still, that was a sixth place uh, run there. Not too bad. And now the next game, watch as all the players load. Watch us. Everyone at once! Yes, it can happen. <laughs> Yeah, so I actually got that on camera too, that's pretty nice. And this game that happened right after it wasn't too shabby in on itself, as as I said, it's like a highlight reel of sorts, so... <laughs> I do believe I put four games in this video, if I recall correctly, so... Yeah, anyway, I am ready to commentate over the footage for a half hour. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm getting this set up here. I got two of the ZS pieces like right off the bat there. It's like, oh man, they don't they don't really match well with the square either. It's just like, ah, I'm gonna have to slide a piece under there no matter what. And I ended up using the L piece to pull that out. Wait, no, no, J piece. Excuse me. Yes, blue is the J, orange is the L. Got to look at the letter shapes. And as you can see there, I did some pretty nice planning there to keep all the holes out of the board, which is pretty nice. And so I'm building up that Tetris counter there, and again, I am focused on KOs. You can see that. We got it set up at the top of the screen at the very beginning. So, yeah, there's there's my result. I don't know if that'll work for everyone. It just, I mean, it, it worked. it's working for me because, I, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm consistent enough that... I just end up nicking players out and it gives me badges along the way. I, I don't have the point of uh, enough badges to get a 25% boost, but but eh, we'll see how things go, right? Right? Wink wink. <laughs> now, that, was, that was kind of a mistake over there at the bottom right where I made that hole because I don't have a way to T-spin into that or anything like that, so now I've got to clear that out. That was... As you may have noticed, poor planning on my parts, but yeah, that's again part of the whole record yourself playing shenanigans because it's quite useful to actually do that, S especially in something competitive too, because you can actually look back at the footage and see, oh, so that's what went wrong. <laughs> so I'm just knocking down the stack now because I see a whole load of junk coming my way and I was like, ooh, I better, I better not let some of that come in there. I might get too high, so let's just get it down. 
get everything back down to a safe level and then let some stuff come in if it wants to because then we'll be a-okay and I, le I let a couple holes go in there but it was easy to get out of that as you see because I kept all the angles shallow and plan for said holes to be there like holes aren't that big of a deal like Maybe if you if you miss drop and you're not planning for a hole, but if you plan for a hole, it's like oh yeah, yeah I can get out of that no no problem because I put myself there because I knew I could clear the, this line or that line in the upcoming piece sets and yeah I didn't know what to do with that <laughs> the red piece there I was like yeah, I'll just put it out in the open and maybe slide a piece in there somewhere or maybe knock the stuff off later on off at the top or something and I decided to put stuff up on top there. And that, that's not necessarily a bad move or anything like that, but, eh, I don't know, I probably should have maybe put that red piece vertically, so that I, I would have more of a surface area, and that's another part of the whole watch your gameplay dealio. Because, <laughs> yeah, if, if you're not, like, if, if you're trying to keep your stack in something that's well controlled, you probably want to leave the most versatile surfaces open as possible, if possible. Uh, sometimes you gotta fill stuff up, you know, if you um, if you did some bad planning and then you gotta kind of recover or something like that. But, but you know, if, if you're actually playing decently, you, <laughs> you just wanna plan a little bit better there and keep things just nice, nice in a simple manner. <laughs> I guess you could say, just don't overcomplicate things, unless, well, you you know what you're doing and you, you can set things up by reflex, like T-spin chaining and stuff, <laughs> like left and right and whatnot. But yeah, I get, there's a whole bunch of stuff coming my way, so I'm like, ooh, I better, I better fend this off. This doesn't look too good, because I don't really have many Tetrises set up at this point, so I decided to kind of knock stuff down at that point, which is alright, and then I go ahead and knock that Tetris out. And yes, yes, I know that there is that hole that I made in the middle of there, I just kind of had to cycle through pieces really quickly there. Maybe I could have dropped them better, but I, I, I kind of got nervous as I seen a whole bunch of stuff coming, I was like, you know what, I gotta, I gotta get to that line piece. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay, because I've noticed something as I kept playing, is that what you can do is you can get like a whole bunch of singles at once like one single two single just like one right after the other and you'll just keep building up your combo counter and that combo will just keep getting more and more powerful as you keep getting the singles and as strange as it may sound that is actually a pretty viable strategy because it, like like you would think that the big T-spins or the Tetrises would be like the big game changers of the whole thing, but not necessarily. There's a whole lot that you can do to actually get out of situations or put pressures on opponents. So, like, if, if you see it, there's a couple of little holes there. Try and plan it so that you can clear out those holes turn after turn, like as you're clearing off the top layers, like, like in singles. Don't just try and go for a big whammy, just go single, 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 or double, 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 but doubles go through your stack a whole lot quicker than singles do, and yeah. So I'm not, I'm not necessarily sure about the doubles thing, but you can indeed combo anything um, that that has the same amount of lines done, or this, I should say the same move done, double, T-spin, triple, whatever. Uh, just that it takes longer with stuff that clears more lines because it takes more pieces to actually build up to those lines. So I'm like, eh, eh, in those sorts of high pressure situations I should go for single, single, single. And that was quite effective, believe it or not. Uh, well, as I guess you can believe it here because, well, you're watching it here. <laughs> Seeing is believing, I guess they say. <laughs> But yeah, I put that T piece there, figuring that I would open up that hole a little bit later on, and I was correct. Place that blue piece there, and, and then the light blue for the Tetris. See, now that is much, much better planning on my part, and that is me shaking off the rust, basically. In that I would, like, when I played Tetris a lot, I would be 
I had a, a ton better planning than I noticed that in my footage. <laughs> and it's kind of starting to show once again in the videos here, so... Yeah, that's... It's, it's looking pretty good, and I don't... As I said, I don't know if it's because I was... Talking? Because I, I've always said that talking does mess with your concentration, because you're, you know, you're thinking of stuff to say to help explain things and, and and be entertaining or whatnot, or not entertained depending on the subjective opinion of others. But <laughs> get it over there, get it over. Nope, you can't do it. You put it on the other side. <laughs> but yeah, so it, it, it's kind of like multitasking, and instead of multitasking when I'm playing here. It's me just playing, so what I've got is all my focus on the game, 100%. I might be a little bit too late to get out of this situation, though, because it's getting a little bit high and attacks are gonna come my way, yeah, yeah, but that's still, still a pretty decent place there. <laughs> so, anyway, next game here, I skipped a couple of them. Um, because I was like, eh, as I said, highlight reel. So I just skipped kind of like the top 25 games that I was getting. I was like, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, let's go to the next one over here. It's the video's long enough. I figured it would be okay to end Tetris 99 on part 9. <laughs> you, know, you know, it just seems even more fitting to end it, <laughs> end it there. There's only so much Tetris you can talk about, I suppose, too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start plopping stuff in the corner because all that stuff fits in the corner nicely But I don't know what I was thinking with that <laughs> The red S piece there. I was like, hmm, why, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Like did I really want this to slide a line piece or an L piece into that area like You want to use the line pieces for something else? No <laughs> Not something like that. That was just a, a early game brain fart on my part. <laughs> but it happens, and it's not it's not a game ender by any means. But you know, it does help to get in good habits. And I was thinking about that for a second. I was like, eh, I, I don't want to lose my T because the T is a pretty versatile piece. But I don't want to put the S piece on there either because that's a it's gonna make the situation awkward. I was like, Neh. I'll just drop it there. <laughs> I gotta, gotta drop it eventually. Uh, that's another thing about uh, the plays that sometimes, if you are stumped, it's okay to just drop it and then kind of recover from it uh, if you're not in a bad position. Like, because if you have ways out of it, like you have the time to get, get yourself out of the hole that you made or something like that, even if you didn't plan for that hole being made. It's not that bad or anything like that. Just keep this top stack shallow to the area and then just kind of kind of just knock it down. Just yeah, like see, I'm I'm not trying to build up from that point. Like what I'm doing right there is I'm trying to think in very shallow areas. I'm like, "Hmm, hmm, yeah, I'm just going to I'm going to keep this low." And then I'm going to put those there and everything everything seems to be working out. See that? See that? It's like magic when you don't build too high over your holes. And yeah, when that's that's the main problem is that if you get a hole, don't panic, just relax. It's okay if you get a hole. You just kind of oh geez, it's okay to miss drop too. Just <laughs> it's just a matter of just seeing the situation and not building too high above that hole because. The more pieces that you put above that hole, the more lines you're going to have to clear out from on top of it. So if you if you just keep everything shallow above the hole, you should be able to get out of it quickly. And what I mean by that, uh, I said you should just drop the piece, is because if you're, if you're contemplating what kind of place that you should drop it as, you've probably lost a bunch of your attack potential. And dang it, PK Gam, stop misdropping. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, because if you're always just like thinking like really, really hard, ooh, I, should I put this piece here? No, 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 I, this, this, this next piece coming. I can't put it there because it won't be the right place for this piece in theory. And well, it, it, it just doesn't really equate to attack power. Let's put it that way. <laughs> 
what happens is that you lose out on that multi single chain of combos that you could be doing and uh, yeah like as I said if you have a hole you can just single chain out of that and you're in pretty good position and see I'm just single chaining there and it's like I'm already I'm doing a bunch of attacks on peeps all as well like see I made a couple holes there no big deal just do a single there do a single there single see that and that that's the sort of stuff that I began to pick up on as I was uh, playing m more of the game and uh, looking at the footage and stuff like that I was like oh oh yeah look at that that is quite effective I've got to put that in my bag of tricks <laughs> And typically in a Tetris game, that is not what you would be doing. You'd be going for maximum Tetris or T-Spin power. But in this case, you have options. You can indeed just go for singles all over the place. See, I decided to go and switch to the green Z piece to get another single again for the combo. Just to keep kind of building that up and get another single to that. And just keep single, 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 etc, etc. Until I'm basically forced not to yeah like that <laughs> like if i have to get the stack down or i have to defend myself against an attack i'll i'll take whatever i can get out of that it's just it's improvis improvisation excuse me <clears throat> and that there's nothing bad about that you know it's a multiplayer game you got got to do that so you, you can't just have like the perfect game every time and uh, yeah i missed drop there with the green piece but blah just keep it shallow i've showed you that all is well Boink. Shallow hole, shallow hole. Dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. <laughs> and then you're good to go with more Tetrises again, or singles, or whatever, whatever the, the, is the best situation that the situation calls for. And yep, see that? Got the KOs. I've got 50% power increase. And it was just basically doing singles. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? So yeah, you don't necessarily have to go for Tetrises if you don't feel like it, but Tetrises do help. I mean, can't can't go wrong with the Tetris, I think, because I mean, it's, Tetris is still a pretty powerful move to send lines to your opponents. But you know, it's not it's not necessarily the best move depending on the situation. You know, I, I probably should have put that orange piece there, the L piece, in there, and just took a line out of that. But I I, I was just I was kind of confused at the time. I could tell that. And I was like, oh jeez, what should I do, what should I do, I'll switch pieces! Oh, this is probably not the best... No, I, I should not have switched pieces. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's not the end of the world if you make a mistake. It's Tetris. These things happen. It, it, may, be high, it may be a fast-paced game, but it's not... THAT fast-paced. Well, I mean, I guess it can be fast-paced, but I mean, when you get when you get attacks coming your way, you can you have time to react to them. You have time to get those singles and get out of them if you if you need be. So it's not it's not the not a big deal. It's, it's not like a it's not like one miss drop is going to utterly destroy you. Is is what I mean. I mean, sure it could happen, but most likely it won't. <laughs> it, the game isn't. Isn't that quick, thanks to the little buffer time, plus you can kind of shift pieces around there as you've seen uh, to prevent them from sticking in place if need be, just to kind of just to kind of get yourself in a relaxed position of, hmm, okay, let's just give myself a little bit more time to think if need be, and yeah, I just got a whole ton of poop coming my way there. <laughs> Still not that bad, though. Still not that bad. All right, final game here. Let's go! Final game of Tetris 9. Oh man! Oh man! 97 of the other players came at once, and that one straggler just kind of messed it up for everyone. Now we <laughs> we've seen that that perfect everyone at once board already. We don't have to see it for the last game. So all right, this is probably me at a peak performance, as this was also my last game of the day. <laughs> It's like, eh, mm, eh, eh, whatever goes, whatever goes, let's see. So I just started dropping pieces nice and aggressively to get myself set up for the early game Tetrises as I like to do. Nothing wrong with that. No mistakes there whatsoever. As I said, peak performance. <laughs> as a matter of fact, yeah, I'll just do a back 
back-to-back -back Tetris? Sure, why not? <laughs> I'm thinking, hmm, see, that, that, that might have been a mistake right there if you think about it. Remember, as I said, the more you think about doing something, the less you're actually attacking people. So, probably should just keep dropping. <laughs> and also, I noticed that if you have the hole in the middle of the screen, and, like, you know, just you're going for Tetris and stuff like that. It makes it a little bit easier... Ah, I missed drop. Makes it a little bit easier in the later game when pieces are flying down fast to actually get the eyepiece into it. But you're okay building into the corners if you're comfortable with that in the early game. Nothing wrong with that, but in the late game, I would, I would be a little bit more cautious about where you put that opening. Because when the pieces start dropping down fast, you might not be able to walk that eyepiece uphill into the slot that you want it into it because it just drops too fast and there's no way that you can tap the buttons fast enough to get it over to the side before I reach the bottom because it's like it, it's basically instant drop Tetris maybe it's not completely instant drop but it, it may as well be when you're in the top like five players or something like that <laughs> So I see a bunch of attacks coming my way, and I'm like, I better get this stack down post-haste. And you'll notice that I use that single to delay the attacks coming my way. I've got a ton of attacks coming here for whatever reason. I'm not sure why that is. I wasn't in that much trouble until the attacks started coming, so it's not like that they were... Like it was someone targeting KOs or something like that. Um, maybe it was just people manually attacking me with the left analog stick because you can do that and it's, they're like oh I see this person attacking this person maybe I'll follow along and see if I can sneak a badge in there or something like that because that too is a viable strategy even though it's kind of it's kind of clunky to do that actually <laughs> like you can micromanage who you're attacking with the left analog stick but it just just try doing that in a game while trying to drop pieces at your usual pace. It's so, so awkward. <laughs> I can see someone, like a really elite player, maybe utilizing that, but I, I've i only played four days here. Give me a break. <laughs> so yeah, I reached the top 50 with my strategies. I've got second place thus far at my strategies, so I figured... Eh, it's only a matter of time before I get lucky enough to get a win, or maybe if I, I'll play perfect enough to get a win or something like that. Like, I won't have too many misdrops in a game or something like that. I'm just kind of sticking with what's what's sort of working and then just kind of improvising as I need to. I decided to knock down the stack there, not only for the single counter, the, you know, the combo counter, but also because I was just like, eh, I just kind of want to get that back in the corner where I'm comfortable building up on the Tetrises, so yeah. <clears throat> oh, hello, KO. Nice to meet ya. So yeah, I don't really have all that many badges here, which is just, <laughs> it's never a really good sign, but I don't really know if you can control getting badges, unless you're like, I, I, as I said, manually targeting someone and then just like aggressively pounding at them. Unless they're as good as you are, then it's just gonna come out as a stalemate. Uh, so that's not necessarily the best bet, because you kind of want to go for someone who is... who's on the verge of losing, and that's the KOs. At least that's what I found in my strategies. I, as I said, maybe you'll find something different that works for you, but, eh, well, this is working for me, so I'm sticking by it. Dang it, PKGAM, stop with the misdrops, you amateurish SOB. <laughs> but don't worry, don't worry. As I said, this is the highlight reel, so I'm, I do manage to get out of it. We're okay. We are all right, and I decide to get the Tetris there to knock down the stack a little bit, and then I, I thought maybe I should do a single there, just to kind of get the single counter going a little bit higher, because I did a single on the last one, but then I decided, nah, 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 nah let's, let's go back to Tetris. There's not much pressure on me to do the single thing, so I was like, okay, we'll just, we'll just go back to the Tetris. That, that might be my best bet. So, I, so here we go, and that, I think, was my best bet, because that attack was coming, and it was probably best to fend that off, because that was a lot of junk coming my way, and then I end up KOing, and that was a really surprise KO, because I didn't have that many badges, and I got a ton of badges out of that. 
<laughs> so now we are in the top 10 with 75% of power capacity. Well, you know, 75% plus your regular power capacity. You know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's all about getting those badges I found. I mean, it, uh, but uh, you'll all, you'll see right about now I, I, that, well, maybe not quite now, but you see the, the people that I am fending off, they have, well, at least one of them, they have more badges than I have at the upper left corner, so I'm still technically at a disadvantage, but yet I'm I'm still holding my own, like, like just playing my own game, so at, like I said before, you, there's more than one way to tackle situations in Tetris. There's quite a lot that you can do in any given situation, and I'd say a lot of it comes to player preference, and I decided to just do a shallow uh, single line there, because I was like, eh, 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 probably should. Just make sure that I don't clog up that hole, because I gotta get out of this awkward corner situation. And I just, right there, I took out the person who has the most badges. That was maxed out at 100%, and now I'm maxed at 100%, and that means I'm in a pretty good position. If you look at the other two players there, that person at the upper left is about to go down, and just did. That means there is one player left versus me, one on one. Holy poopers, it's the duel in the Wild West. And this is, I noticed this right now and I started freaking out a little bit. I was like, oh my god, I did not expect with the badges that I had at that early point. that Because I, I, as I said, I did not have very much going on there. And you'll notice that the person at the other side there is in the red. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, just hold it together, PK Gam, just Holy mother of Arceus, don't you dare lose focus for the love of all things holy. <laughs> I mean, I am definitely making mistakes here, as you see, because I'm building up holes and stuff like that, but I'm still holding it together pretty decently. And a little T-spin happened over there, but not, not super impactful. And then, there it is. <laughs> That's is my last game of Tetris 99, and I won. <laughs> that was just a game that I did not expect to win based on how little badges I had, so... That's another lesson here. If you don't have a lot of badges, it doesn't mean you've lost. You may very well get the badges if you just keep on playing. And at this point, I was just like, what pacing around the room shaking I was like oh my god I did it oh my god I did it that's why I'm I was sitting on the screen for so long <laughs> it felt like I sat on the screen for like 15 minutes just like oh my god oh my god but it ended up just being a minute or so <laughs> you know it felt longer than it actually was I was just so thrilled with myself that I finally managed to get a win <laughs> And I went to check the points. You get 100 points for a win in the tournament. The Tetris Maximus. And then I went to check the old, ye old leaderboard to see who the poop was playing over here just for kicks after I took in the sight of me finally being at the top, I guess. <laughs> but, but, as I said, this was my last game of Tetris 99 because, well, after that win, I, I was pretty satisfied and I ended up going back to other stuff. But then I went back to Tetris 99 later just for the sake of this footage, just to show you that, yeah, I let my free trial expire. Oh, bother. <laughs> well, even though that I got my win, my one and only win for all time, unless I decide to pay for the online later on. I don't know about that. I don't know. So, for now, it looks like this is the end for Tetris 99. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.